It's hard to believe, but it's Monday yet again, and down in Florida, the Grim Reaper is working on his tan. A Florida attorney dressed as death himself showed up at beaches in the Sunshine State over the weekend to protest the lifting of social distancing restrictions. We are dealing with a deadly virus. I think it's too soon to draw thousands of millions of people to our beaches. That's one way to send a message. Let's dive into more ocean-related news with another thing you can enjoy at home, live webcams at the New England Aquarium. You can spy on the residents of the giant ocean tank and the African penguin colony 24 hours a day, but definitely tune in for their feeding times. Yeah, some good looking fish right there, but not to eat. Although that's a good segue for my next story. Many restaurants, especially in the Boston area, are starting to open back up with new takeout and delivery only business strategies, according to Boston's Hidden Restaurants news site. The Barking Crab opened back up on Friday with only one menu item to offer, but they hope their new strategy will bring more employees back to work. I caught up with Director of Operations Alex Morris before the reopening to talk about how they're handling a comeback with just two people to keep their seafood restaurant afloat. The Barking Crab was just like every other restaurant in Boston, so we had to lay off all of our staff with the exception of myself and our general manager. So he and I are gonna go in and roll, slowly roll out uh, takeout. We're not gonna let anybody come in at the first because again, social distancing, they're going to be able to order on an app. We use Toast. So they'll be able to order on their phone, online, or um, when they walk up. And so it'll so, be just two people. So like, how are you going to like make that happen? We can do lobster rolls. Those we can do in our sleep. We're either going to make them to go so that you can come and grab it and have a picnic, or you can bring it home and assemble it at home. There's two ways that we can do it. You can order that specify online. If this is a success over the next week or so, then we're going to add different menu items. And then hopefully it's a success and I can add staff. But I also have to keep in mind that I have to keep that uh, those people safely distance from each other as well. So it, it'll be kind of an organic growth. It's an interesting strategy. Start off with an item that you can do with a few amount of people that's very popular. Everybody wants a New England lobster roll. And then right. slowly adding things on as things kind of open up. And then we're going to bring back limited staff. And then we'll keep the, um, hopefully we can do this. So we're going to keep the crews that work um, all at the same time. So that we'll have uh, like the Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday crew. And then the later crew. So that everybody works the same shifts. So that we're not intermingling different shifts. Anything to get my guys back. Like I'll do whatever it takes to get the employees back in the building. But right now we can't do that um, until, it, until we have a really good plan in place to keep everybody safe. I think the mentality out there is that there's going to be an end date, that someday, look, coronavirus is over, and now we're all ready to go, and it's not going to be that, and there's a lot of talk about new normals, but it really is an evolution of business. It's not really going to snap on, and um, and all of a sudden, everybody's going to be the back the way they were. There is there is no back the way we were anymore. You'll have to just look forward. 